What is up everybody? My AOL password here with another video game review. Today we are going to be reviewing Death Stranding. Uh, whether it's the director's cut or not the director's cut. I was playing the director's cut. Um, but it's practically the same game with a few extra like cosmetics and little tidbits um, with behind the scenes stuff and whatnot. Um, but let's hop into this. I will try to give a non-spoiler review. Um, so sorry if I do give spoilers. I, I'm going to try my best. Um, but this game um, reminds me, whenever I've, I've ever played this game, I all immediately go to a Christopher Nolan film. Like, it's such a beautiful game. It's great visuals, great storytelling, great, like, acting uh characters literally almost everything um but you still don't really know what's going on and the pacing is kind of off a little bit like it, it's always jumpy like it goes super slow then super fast and super slow and just going all all the way through like that um but this game you're basically playing as norman reedus uh the actor is the main character um aka daryl from the walking dead series um, he plays a character named uh, Sam Porter, uh, or Sam Porter Bridges is what people call him in the game as well. Uh, you are playing him. He is basically a delivery guy trying to um, reconnect the the U.S. through uh, a post-apocalyptic event, um, which is basically comes from these, uh, I don't know what you want, you, they're called BTs in the game, but they're basically like a supernatural entity thing that kind of wants to um wipe out humankind in a way um so it's kind of like that um so correct me if i'm wrong on that thing i uh, put that in the comments if you want uh, you can also put in the comments what you like or dislike about this game but overall i enjoyed this game i thought i was gonna hate it um it would it's basically delivery simulator, walking simulator, though you do get vehicles later in the game. Um, you're basically reconnecting the world through deliveries, uh, doing favors and deliveries for those people, building trust and connection that one that the government um, in the game wants you to do um, so they can uh, form a new, I guess, quote unquote, civilization and rebuild and all of that. Um, so that's kind of like the gist of it. Uh, gameplay wise, it is very interesting. Sometimes it can be very zen because it's very chill. Sometimes it's very not chill, especially when you're trying to fight the bad guys. Um, but making deliveries, you're either walking most of the time or taking your vehicles. Um, and you have to deliver, deliver those things. Um, and it's very, uh, visual visually stunning going through all different types of terrain um and weather conditions and all that stuff um the voice acting or the acting um 10 out of 10 for the most part um you have norman reedus you have mads mickelson uh you have troy baker um he plays one of the, the bad guys you have uh who is it margaret qualley i think her name is um a couple other people you have a, a few uh cameos in there uh they're uh, like um i'm pretty sure everyone knows conan o'brien he's in there for a little bit um which is great uh guillermo del toro um they uh they didn't use his voice but they used his body and face uh for that as well um so just a lot of uh a lot of good characters leah sado is I think that's how you pronounce her name. Um, is the female lead. Um, it is very well written, very well done. The acting is like ninety nine percent good. There there are some parts where it's like, okay, you know, yeah, <laughs> like it's below the what you think the standard is. Um, my biggest gripe was the pacing. Um, the pacing, like I said earlier in the video, it is. It it jumps from like slow to fast, um, depending on what I guess uh they call them episodes in here. There's about 
14. There's technically 15 episodes, but 15 is basically your end game. Uh, so 14 episodes is your like core story. Um, and it and it's uh like the first act is really slow. Act two is much faster. Act three is way slower. Um, I will say the ending, the there doesn't need you will get you will get credits. I'll say that uh, two sets of credits, and both unskippable, and they're about half an hour long. <laughs> Um, so take that how you want. Um, the end, like literally the ending took me about like two, three hours to do. And it was just like, majority of that was just like the credits rolling and like a lot of exposition that could have just been throughout the game instead of packing it all at once. Visually, 10 out of 10, like I said, like everything from the terrain to the lighting, to the shadows to the just like the overall quality is 10 out of 10. Um, storytelling is really well done, even though sometimes you don't know what's going on. You don't know what's happening. Like I said, like Christopher Nolan films, you might be confused, but it's still intriguing, still interesting, still very entertaining and fun to watch and or play. Um yeah, uh, there's, you can say it's like a looter because you have to, there's also lost cargo that you can take those deliveries, make deliveries to those certain places. Um, there's a lot of, there's a ton of micromanaging because you are a delivery driver and you kind of have to manage your cargo. A ton of uh, micromanaging, counting, counting the cost and budgeting and all that stuff um, with your carry weight with um, fabricating you know, materials and buildings, structures and uh, upgrades for your character. Um, so overall, it's a, it's a great game. Um, it's not a game I would replay um, right off the bat. Maybe some somewhere way down the line, I would come back to it. Um, but it is a really well done game um, that you kind of expect that from a Kojima game. I'm, I'm pretty, I don't know if that's how you pronounce his last name either. Um, who is also known for Metal Gear Solid, the Metal Gear Solid franchise, and we are going through Metal Gear Solid Five currently. Um, so that is take that how you want to take it. But overall, I enjoyed it very much. Uh, the music is also really good, though. Um, you may or may not get DMCA'd from that, um, so you just be warned. You might have to mute it if you're using it for stream or a video or something um so take that how you want it as well um but put in the comments what you liked or disliked uh thanks everybody for watching this video uh, i do a lot of other cringe game reviews on the channel so go check those out uh we've the most recent ones were uh like power wash simulator um called the wild dead island 2 um we will be making one of Starfield whenever I finish that. I am currently playing through that as well. Um, but I'm taking my sweet time with it. Um, but I will make a review somewhere down the line with that too. As well as Metal Gear Solid Five with with um with a review as well. Um but don't forget to also drop a like and a sub if you want. Um we also I also have Twitch clips on the channel and uh you can follow my socials. I'll put down below in the in the description uh, for Twitter, Discord, or X Discord and Twitch. Uh, so, yeah, uh, I will see you all in the next video. Adios.